welcome you to this course of flocculation in this lecture we are going to talk about conventional versus polymeric flocculants conventional coagulants and flocculants that we are using since long back now some of the disadvantages or limitations or issues connected with them are come on the surface and so new generation flocculants are now in market now let us talk about some advantages of conventional flocculants why they were selected to use as a coagulant in industry basically this substances used as a coagulants are inorganic substances they are salts of aluminum iron etc and they are widely used when they are added to water these highly charged ions will neutralize the suspended particles the inorganic hydroxides that are formed will produce short polymer chains and these chains will enhance microflock formation inorganic coagulants usually offer lowest price per kg they are widely available when properly applied properly selected the effectiveness in removal of suspended solids are very good they are also capable of removing portion of the organic precursors which may combine with chlorine to form disinfection by products this inorganic coagulants produce large volume of flocks which can also entrap bacteria as they settle these all advantages mentioned are becoming limitations for these coagulants and flocculants some of the environmental and health impacts of chemical coagulants and flocculants are like toxicity and health risk potential of conventional coagulants and flocculants environmental pollution caused by this chemical coagulants and flocculants application of these compounds is not necessarily free from impacts several environmental problems due to the chronic toxicity of coagulants and flocculants are currently reported specifically for environmental observers worldwide in depth analysis has been conducted in relation to the impact that can be caused by the use of chemical compounds as coagulants and flocculants the environmental impacts include increasing the corrosion rate of metallic utilities changing the ph of water limiting root elongation and inhibiting seed germination in the plants inorganic flocculants are used in very large quantities they leave large amount of sludge and are strongly affected by ph changes the chemical compounds commonly used as a coagulants or flocculants include salts of iron like fecl3 or fe2so4 thrice salts of aluminum like al2so4 thrice hydrated lime magnesium carbonate and polymers like aluminum chlorohydrate polyaluminum chloride polyaluminum sulfate chloride and polyferric sulfate these all chemicals contains metal particles or metal ions in that so in sludge addition of metal ions or metal particles such as aluminum or iron etc will take place so what is the solution of this problems since long we are using this conventional coagulants and flocculants our time has been 
arrive to replace that with a new generation flocculants that is called polymeric flocculants. We described the mechanism of flocculation by polymers in PPM concentrations by strong solvation of the liquid by the flocculants. Thus, pushing the solid particles outside the solvated domains. The solid particles aggregate in much smaller regions than available to them. Polymeric flocculants cause formation of large cohesive aggregates or flocks and are inert to pH changes. Both natural and synthetic polymers are used as a flocculants. Polymers are effective over a wider range of pH than inorganic coagulants. They can be applied at lower dosage and do not consume alkalinity of water. They produce smaller volume of more concentrated rapidly settling flocks. Flocks formed by use of properly selected polymer will be more resistant to shear, resulting in less carryover and a cleaner effluent. Polymers are generally several times more expensive in price per kg than inorganic coagulants. Selection of the proper polymer requires considerable jar testing under simulated plant conditions followed by pilot or plant scale trials. Also, these polymers must be approved by regulatory agencies for use in potable water. Some natural polymers are biodegradable, are effective at large dosage and are shear stable. Synthetic polymers are highly effective flocculants at some dosage and have high tolerability but poor shear stability. We discuss flocculants based on polysaccharide more in detail since they provide more shear stability and biodegradability. Since flocculants exist as polymers in solution, their standard characterization is in terms of radius of gyration. That radius is related to the flocculation efficacy.